What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And before we get into today's video, I want to mention a few things. First of all, I have added my first game playbook to the store. It is the spread option playbook for NCAA Football 06. This was a really cool idea slash request from somebody. And what this is, is a more of a condensed version of like my bigger books. These playbooks are for people who already know how to run a lot of the plays in these games but they just want my opinion slash direction on how to put a specific scheme together and the spread option playbook is very similar to what i ran in mississippi state in that dynasty and if i was trying to replicate what coastal carolina does in 2020 this is probably what i would go with and what each one of those books entail it just shows you every formation for that playbook every play for each formation but I'd tell you exactly which plays you need to run. It's got all the recruiting stuff you need to know and a good summary of the offense. I don't break down actual plays, again, because it's for people who kind of already know how to run that stuff, but they just want the nitty-gritty, the more essential information on an offense as a whole. So make sure you check that out if you're interested. It didn't take me super long to put that together, so I think I can turn out a whole lot more, and I got a ton of ideas in mind to add more to those to the store. So make sure you check that out. And as usual, I have the link in the description below to the store. The next thing is the website. It's been messing up on me a little bit lately, and I'm looking into it and see how it get a fix. Hopefully it'll get updated by the time I post this video. So don't be surprised if you go through and check out posts and pages. You're probably not going to be able to. So hopefully that'll get fixed very shortly. The last thing is, when it comes to these creative school videos, make sure you check out the pinned comment below each one that is my chance to put any uh, like addendums any additions updates or changes or uh that i have made to a particular video for example for coastal carolina the end zone i think i had the color font wrong i think i put teal it should be white little things like that so make sure you check those out for every one of these types of videos so speaking of, let's get into our second school, and that is the Georgia State Panthers. I received amazing feedback from a lot of people. This seems to be a really good idea for a series. And a lot of you sent me requests on future schools. And the majority of them were missing FBS schools that are not in this game. So for the next few uh, videos, that's probably what I'll do is do the remaining FBS schools. And we'll start with Georgia State today. So let's get right into it. Their primary colors are blue and white. You go to their blue and you go to edit. I just selected, it doesn't matter which one you select any of these colors. And I went here and you go to edit and their official blue is 0, 057 and 166 on the RGB. And of course, I just went with your basic white in the top left corner. School logo is Panther. Now this is interesting. I'm okay with this particular logo. Unfortunately, there's not enough white on it because the actual logo, as you see, is like half white, half blue, or at least a, a little less white than blue. One other option you may want to go with if you don't like this particular one is if you go to NCAA Teams and you go down to Arizona, this one's pretty close. Now, this is a Wildcat. This isn't a Panther, but I like the mix of the white and the blue. It's really close, but I wanted more of a Panther. I cared more about that than getting more white in the logo. But again, that is an option if you want to go that route. But I went with the generic Panther. Nickname for the Panthers. School name, Georgia State. Abbreviated name is GSU. City, Hotlanta, Georgia. If you go to Georgia and you select this, you can move it to where it's closer to Atlanta. Something about like right here. Playbook, you pick whatever you want. I just went with Florida because that's the shotgun heavy playbook in the game. Team type, middle of the road, you pick whatever you want here. For probably the remain a lot of these teams I'm going to create, I'll probably just put it middle of the road. I can change this if I ever feel like doing a dynasty of some sort with one of these. But for now, I'll just go with middle of the road. Rival school is definitely Georgia Southern. When it comes to fight song, I had to do a little research on this, as with most of them, because I'm not very familiar with many of the fight songs for a lot of these teams, especially these smaller schools or new ones. And LSU was the closest one that I could come up with, but any of you who are musically inclined and really know their fight songs or as a Georgia State fan, if you come across one that's better, that's more close than the LSU one, by all means, let us know, and I can put that in the pinned comment. 
When it comes to mascot, I could not find a blue panther anyway that was remotely close to what we's needing. So I'm going to put none. And don't be shocked if we're going to have none for every one of these creative schools for these mascots. Because it's going to be super hard. Because a lot of these, if you go here, a lot of them are very specific. Like Albert for Florida. He's got the orange or blue AF. It just, you know, it had to be something very generic. A lot of these mascots have like a jersey on or something. Unless you just get really lucky, like and find something very generic, you may be able to use that. Otherwise, I couldn't find one. So I, that's why I went with none. Now let's talk about the stadium. They play in Center Park Stadium. This is the old Turner Field that the Atlanta Braves played on before they built their stadium. And what Georgia State done was they renovated it and kind of turned it into a football stadium of some sort. Now, stadium type, I went with square. Now, as you can see, it is impossible to replicate this stadium to a T because it's a ballpark, not a actual stadium. Now, the capacity is 24,000. I did not want to go below that, so I just went with the next one up, which was the stadium type of square at 30,000. Their orientation is north and south, and as you can see in the image, their scoreboard and screen, at least their main ones, is in the northeast corner. So I just went north end zone for both. Press box, from what I could tell, they had one big one on the west side. On the east side, it's just a makeshift, you know, stadium uh, seats, and that's kind of it. So I put west side for the press box. When it comes to field surface, a lot of these new teams and a lot of teams in general are going to like a grassy turf look. The art of nobody goes straight artificial anymore. That's too old school. A lot of them do the grassy turf. You can go with grassy turf or natural, but I really like the look of grassy turf, as you'll see later on the video. Midfield logo, I went with a Panther logo. It's really close to, I think that's what they use on their field, is their actual logo. 25-yard logo, I think they do the conference logos on theirs. I'm not quite sure. I, have, I don't have the picture in front of me. But I just went none there. When it comes to the end zones, this came out really well. As you'll see later on, nickname number two and primary as your end zone background. They have Panthers and wide with the blue background. They don't have a track around the field. And, of course, since they're right smack dab in the middle of Atlanta, I went with the Metro backdrop. Now let's talk about the uniforms. Georgia State is a very young school, young program, I should say. And they don't have much tradition, but they got a ton of uniform combinations. So you can go pretty wild with this. I just kind of picked four that I saw a little bit more often than not and went with there, but by all means, feel free to change this around if you need to. Let's start with the main one. I went with the all blue looks. So let's go up to the helmets and start there. I've noticed for the few times they'll use this helmet, they always do the white stripe down the middle. It's a single stripe, but it's a blue helmet with, again, the white stripe down the middle. And the logo is the only downside to this one. You can really hardly see the logo just because there's not enough line on it. But that is their main uh, logo they put on the hair. But sometimes they put like Georgia State on there, but I can't replicate that. Pride sticker, none. Triple sleeve for the jersey. Now, you'll notice how they have two thick white stripes on their shoulders. I can replicate skinny ones, but not big ones. Because if you go to jersey color blue, sleeve stripe one, and sleeve stripe two, if I flip that, you get one big white stripe as opposed to two skinny white ones. So that's why I went blue on the one and white on the two to at least replicate the two white stripes. The shoulder numbers are on the top. Style number, again, this is a new program. So they got like a modern font to their jersey numbers. And I went with style number three. This is technically the most modern of the bunch in this game, so that's what I went with. Feel free to change if you need to. Of course, we went white on the numbers. Outline color, black. Technically, in real life, it's white, but we know it's a little bit of a rendering issue in this game, and black is the easiest way to fix that. Plus, it really pops, as you'll see later on. Chest logo, the only chest logos they had was like the conference logo, and I didn't want to fool with that. We don't have that option anyways, so I went with none there. Player name is definitely on. Pants style. I went with basic plain. They got these white stripes on the front of, right above the knee pads, but I can't replicate that. So I just went straight blue across the board. So there's no pants stripes there. Hip logo. I didn't see one from what I could tell. Belt color. I went with blue. You'll notice it's a 
they use a blue belt color for pretty much every single uh, uniform setup they have. Sock style, I kind of notice that a lot of these players do a little bit of everything. They'll go with the high socks. They'll go with the low socks. They'll go with white. They'll go with blue. It's just kind of whatever you want there. But I've seen a lot of the kids at Georgia State do the medium blues for that particular setup. So that's what I went with. Along, So you got your sock color blue and your shoe color is their standard blue. So that's your all blue look. Looks pretty sweet. It'll look even better once you see it on the field. Now let's go to the default away. I went with the Stormtrooper white. And let's start at the very top. This time I went with the triple stripe and logo. If you notice... For their white helmets, they got a white stripe down the middle, but they done the blue smaller stripes on the outside. So that's why you see this look here. So we got a white helmet, and the helmet stripe one is blue, and the helmet stripe two is white. Face mask color is white, and I like the way the logo it really pops up on the white helmet. Pride stickers, of course, none. Jersey types, triple sleeve, it's no different than the home ones, except you got two blue stripes now instead of two white. So there are the colors there for the first and second sleeve stripe. And then it's no different. You got your shoulder numbers on top. You got style number three. Number and name, it's blue with the black border. Again, it just pops and it avoids the rendering issue. Chest logo done. Player name is on, of course. And pants style, again, it's no different except we're going white with nothing there. And the blue belt, again, across the board. Sock style. I've noticed a lot of them were wearing white or short socks for those. So I just went short there. Again, you can change it however you wish. And we went with white for both the sock and the shoe. Now let's talk about the alternates. Here's where you can really just mix things up. This is the home uniform, the home jersey with the away pants. That's a little the only difference. The helmet is from the away uniform, the default. So there are your typical stuff there. And then when you get down into the jersey, it is from the home look for the default home. Of course, we got the black outline. And then you got the white pants with the blue belt and blue socks and blue shoes. It just, you can go white here. Again, a lot of these players, they kind of let them pick whatever they want with their shoe and socks. I thought they would be more uniform on that, but I saw a bunch with white, a bunch with blue. Just however you wish. And for alternate two, we went with the home helmet, the default blue, with oh, the white jersey, of course, it being on the road. But we went with the white pants to go with that. So let me go up to the very top for those who need to see this a little bit slower so you can replicate that. It should carry over. Some of this should. Again, I really like this look. Really slick, and you're going to see all four here in a bit. So those are the four main uniforms. Okay, here are the default home uniforms. I like the The blue just really pops across the board. Really nice and slick. The black outline around the numbers look really good. Makes those pop as well. I really like what I see there. You can go to one of these receivers and get a, another look as well if I can put the cursor on it. There we go. Just really nice. I'm all for it. Looks pretty good. So we'll back out here. Then we can check out one of these. Here is the default away uniform. We can zoom out a little bit. Stormtrooper white. what us Tennessee fans like to call it. Not bad at all. I like it a whole lot. Here we have our alternate home uniform. It's the old 90s Kentucky Wildcat look with the white helmet, blue jersey, and white pants. But I think that came out really well. Just having two very contrasting colors makes a difference in this game with blue and white. I think it looks really good. Then you can check out the alternate away uniform with the blue helmet and everything else white. I think that looks pretty slick. Now, we can check out the, the logo. Looks pretty nice. I think the grassy turf, I'm really liking that look better than the natural field look. But it's to each their own. Now you can check out the end zones. I think they came out really nice. Really close to what they do on their field. You need to go over here. It's the same thing on this side. I wish you could change up each end zone, but you can't. But I think they got Panthers on both ends. It's been a while since I've looked at the picture. 
Now you can check out the rest of the stadium. Here is the west side of the stadium with the one press box, and then you got the north end zone with the scoreboard and screen. Then you got, I love the Metro look in the background. It looks like you're right in the heart of Atlanta. Same on the other side. So I was very pleased with this creative school. You can get pretty close. Again, it helps. They got good, strong colors that are very easy to use. And you have a lot of leeway with your jerseys and stuff because they're a brand new program. And they got a lot of combinations. So hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you can make good use of it. And as usual, I will have this file up in the store. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.